In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the Orville and some of the things that I got for Christmas. A little lighter in the video. How about that? Hello out there, I'm the oldest nerd, and um, before I talk to you about the Christmas haul, it's not really a haul, uh, just a couple of things though that I'm very excited about that'll help me do the channel a little bit differently, a little better I hope, uh, is uh, part of what I have to talk about today. But uh, first of all, I was reading an article today about the Orville that uh, was an interview with Seth MacFarlane. Uh, Seth said that uh, they have upped the budget for the Orville this year. And what that means is that they will be able to do more planet shows. Uh, they will be able to use better special effects. Uh, they will be able to do more stunts. They'll be able to a more cinematic look. As many people have not been terribly excited with the uh, storyline for Star Trek Discovery, which we'll also be talking about later on, the Orville has been lauded by a number of Star Trek fans as being kind of the descendant of Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, in fact, uh, Seth MacFarlane himself, being such a huge fan of that program, uh, did the show as kind of a tribute program. So uh, there's a lot to like in this. Uh, they, uh, as we've talked before about the program, it has a lot more humor, uh, a lot more slice of life than previous Star Trek series have had. So uh, this should be uh, an interesting uh, season. I think they have the humor and the action balanced and with the improvements and the extra money that they have injected in. And, and Seth said you'll see it all on the screen. Uh, that's going to be uh, an exciting season. There's going to be 14 episodes, one which was supposed to have been aired last year but was not. Uh, we'll get plus several others. And uh, there's some there's some disagreement about exactly when Alara is going to leave the show. We know that uh, she is going to be taking some time away from the show so she can do a movie, but we're not sure if she's going to come back or not. And uh, they may leave that open. We'll find out more about that as that comes along. But uh, the first show is going to be on the 30th, which will be the next new show of anything that comes up. Uh, we'll have another short trek that's coming up on, I think, the 7th. And uh, then uh, later in the month, the series will start up there. Um, the advantage, of course, the Orville has, among other things, is that it's on a free-to-view network, so we don't have to sign up for it. We'll talk later about... Uh, other networks and other production companies that are going to start their own streaming services like CBS has. It looks like we have not seen the end of uh, pay for every show you kind of want to see television. So uh, for Christmas, uh, I got a few interesting things that I'd like to share with you. One is this t-shirt. I am, I like this t-shirt. This is a Doctor Who t-shirt that has quotes from the show and uh, the way it is highlighted and such uh, causes it to have a, uh, a design of the TARDIS on it. I kind of like that. And uh, I have another shirt coming that uh, my daughter got for me and uh, we'll show that to you in a future video. Uh, also, I have uh, a new sound recorder. I have been doing most of my videos on an iPhone and uh, recording the audio directly to it, which works just fine, but I worry about if something happens to the phone or uh, its memory fills up or whatever, uh, there could be some problems. So I'm likely liking to shoot this when I can with, I've been doing it with a Canon PowerShot, which does not have a microphone input. And so uh, I borrowed a recorder, but now I have one of my own and uh, it's nice and red. It is a Tascam dr 05. Uh, this, uh, a lot of YouTubers use a uh, Zoom H1 uh, and they're okay, uh, but comparing them, I find that I like the build of the Tascam better. It's a little more complicated to operate, and uh, if you're not used to operating audio equipment, it might be a little more difficult. But after reading the book, you can pretty much master it, and uh, it does have a lot more versatility than the Zoom device does, and uh, it sounds just as good. 
especially when you use the external microphone as we're doing here. So, um, by the way, all of the stuff I'm talking about that I got for Christmas is available at Amazon, and I have it listed in the um, description below. And if you click on the links that I have to Amazon, uh, I will get a commission on anything you buy in the next 48 hours. It doesn't have to be the stuff that I'm doing, but anything that you decide to buy from Amazon, I can get a little commission on, and that's something that helps us keep the channel going. Um, Speaking of cameras, uh, that's the other thing that I have. And since I'm using that camera, I'll just show you a picture here of the, um, the Ultra HD 4K Dragon Touch camera. Now, this is very much like the GoPro, except that it's a whole lot cheaper. And at first, I was concerned as to what the picture quality would be and it does have a plug on it where you can plug it into a television and it looked okay but I wasn't impressed with it and I found out what it was was that the video output of this is just enough for you to tell there's a picture but uh, when it actually goes on the chip it is absolutely breathtaking uh, while it does shoot in 4k my computer can't handle that to edit so uh, I'm shooting this video in 1080 as I do all my videos. So um, uh, it, it still, I think, looks pretty good. Anyway, uh, it is compatible with all of the GoPro accessories if you want to buy accessories. And they have a little thing in here where you can either buy their accessories or get a GoPro accessory. And some little books. There's a remote control for it. And uh, there's also uh, a waterproof case and all kinds of attachments. So uh, you can mount it to a wall or to a bicycle or to uh, your head or whatever you want to mount it to. And it's uh, also got a little cleaning cloth and two batteries and a charger. The little, uh, little square batteries which uh, fit in this and they're rechargeable and that's a real good thing. So uh, that is the um, Dragon Touch camera, which I also got for Christmas and am very excited about. Let's see. Also, I asked for some things to go in the background, and uh, I have a, um, um, uh, I'll just put it here. I'm, I'm not ready to put it behind me yet. Uh, it is a ceramic statuette of Spock, and it comes in a box that also has a little pamphlet with it that describes the character, has some other pictures of him, and uh, the um statue is actually well done it's heavy it's it's weighted uh it's uh it's a nice thing to have on a shelf and they have one for all of the characters and they got me spock so uh, i'm i'm very happy with that as well so uh i hope that your christmas was a good one we were able to spend uh hours with family uh, uh close and extended family so uh it was a good time and uh, we're looking forward to the new year, uh, actually the day before the new year, when the Orville comes back into production uh, to the um, next mini trek, which is going to be on Harry Mudd and the premiere of Star Trek Discovery, which will be in about mid-January. And of course, uh, I forget, I almost forgot the uh, Doctor Who New Year's Day special, uh, which is coming up uh, on New Year's Day. So uh, lots of stuff to look forward to right now. So uh, we hope that uh, you'll be around and uh, be here to hear our reviews. And the way to do that is to subscribe to the channel and also ring the bell so that we know, uh, you'll know when our next video comes out. So until then, don't go far.